Good day, Ellie. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Uh, it's a pleasure being here with you. Happy birthday. Thank you. For those who don't know you, please briefly share with us your career. Well, I was a young, I was a kid that was born in the island of Trinidad in a small town they called San Susi. I was brought into Port of Spain by my father in a place called St. James. I grew up there. I moved from St. James to Woodbrook. I went to a little pipe, a pipe, pipe public school, they called Akkad School. At a certain age, I got a scholarship to go to the Bishops and Chief of Boys. And I went to school there all through my, all through my year, senior year. And I got another scholarship to go to London to study due to the, uh, the advice from different uh, statues, people in the island recommended I should have a scholarship to study music due to what I've been doing at the time, developing the instrument, the steel run. Went to London with a little group they called Transport, but I did not accept the scholarship. I decided to come back home because I wanted it to diva at the time. And I came back from London in 1952. And from that point on, I started working on the steel drum and up to this day I still continue. I have developed most of the instruments in the steel band world. Most people might think otherwise, but uh, it is there to prove. I developed the low lead, which is called Invaders Lee, the double second, the double guitars, which is being used in Trinidad now. I move away from that into the triple guitar, the triple cello, the tenor bass, and the bass drum that used to be my bass drum. And then today I develop what you call the quadruet and the 55, the 85 gallon drum, the lowest note I have stepped up to is the low G. And that is a little of my, just in a nutshell. Thank, thank you, thank you ever so much. Uh, uh, you have been away from Trinidad for quite some time. Do you miss home? I miss the people. I miss the people, really. I am fully involved in the steel band war. So in this country, so I don't really say I miss the city band, but I miss the people, the warm-blooded people, very, you know, always wild and bright and ready for entertainment. I love that, and I miss that some. Would you like to visit at some point? Yes, I visited way really back in nine, two, 2000, the year 2000, and I, I, I had an honorary doctorate from that point. I came back here, and now it's, what, 15, 16 years I've not been back. So you're overdue for a visit then? Yes, I, yes. I, I'm thinking about it. I should have been there this year for the celebration in Vader's 75th. Mm. But certain things didn't uh, work out properly for me, and I could not attend. However, I'm planning to make it happen shortly. God bless. Some of my students and I will go down, yeah. God bless. Uh, you, you currently reside in Morgantown, West Virginia. Yeah. Since you've been here, you have been associated with the West Virginia University. Now that you're retired, tell us a little bit about your time spent at WVU. On campus, I started in 1991, and I, <clears throat> my first workshop was 1992, where I started to teach the steel band and its artistry, artistic uh, and the evolution of it. And I trained a lot of the young people on campus into the art form or all the, art, all the in intricate part of the art form.